Hello everyone and welcome to this message. So this is a message for you today from the beautiful butterflies. A reminder for you that you are on a journey of transformation and a journey of change. And the butterflies is really connecting with Archangel Honiel, the angel of peace. And I feel her all around you today, helping you to feel at peace with your journey and to understand that you are growing and learning right now, as we all are, but we are all transforming. And to transform, to become the butterfly with the powerful wings that lift us high, and we all become that way, we have to go through the darkness, the struggle, the fight, because that's the chrysalis that gives us the strength we need to build these wings or to grow these wings that help you to fly and to achieve your dreams. So during that period of change in the chrysalis, we fight. We learn to fight. We learn what faith is. We learn what trust is. We learn that there's something far bigger than ourselves controlling things on a much higher level. So in the chrysalis or in the cocoon or in the nesting or in the separation, we learn that time is illusion. There is a bigger picture and all is well. We learn to trust in divine timing. We learn to understand what that truly means. We learn to trust in the power of heaven, that there is a creator who knows what we need. And the creator understands us better than anyone. So when we feel misunderstood or we feel like nobody gets it or no one's listening or we feel lost and alone, the angels are always listening. And God knows what you need. And it's like he's coming down to say to you, I built you for this. You can do this. You were built for your wings. I made you so you can fly. Fly high above the matrix world. And see above so you see the bigger picture. So you can look down and make sense of your journey. And become the observer of your life. So the message for you today from the butterflies from Archangel Honiel, from heaven, is to trust your journey and to know that you are transforming. So be kind, be kind and gentle and kind and loving with yourself. Be the deer. They're giving me a, like a, a fawn, you know, a little fawn because, or oh Bambi, remember, you know, you have to kind of break yourself in. Like Bambi, you know, she's fighting to stand up. And she gets stronger. And you get stronger on this journey. You have to find your sea legs. You know, sometimes we feel wobbly or nauseous or, you know, we're going through things in our physical body. We don't know if we'll survive. We don't know how. But like a baby that's nurtured in the womb and it's born at the right time, healthy and well. But it has to grow in the womb. It has to be nurtured. It has to be loved. So you're reminded today to be good to you to nurture you, to look after you, because you are such a beautiful being and a giving, loving being. You give to everyone. It's time to give to you. And the angels want you to know that today. So you are a butterfly. You are beautiful and you are strong and your wings can handle it. So you can rise up and fly above like the eagle and see your journey and understand it from a spiritual point of view. So we're going to use the butterfly oracle today. So what do we need to know, please, angels, today about our journey? How can we be kind and loving? Okay, let's try again. Let me pick the card. Sometimes we have to let the cards fall where they fall. So what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to take anything that's jumping here and I'm going to take the ones that have turned over because I feel these are significant, okay? So any cards that are facing up, they are the ones. So there's quite a few messages and there'll be a reason. So the first thing we've got here is self-care. Self-care. So if you're seeing butterflies today, I feel you're going to see a various range of colours. So you could see blue butterflies. And I feel that's a sign of strength, a sign of nurturing energy and love. And you could see white butterflies connected with purity and peace and innocence. You may see the monarch bus butterfly, you know, beautiful kind of orangey butterfly about your power and abundance flowing in. So you're going to see all kinds of butterflies today, whether that's in your physical world, 
your real life or in your virtual world, in your virtual reality, which could be on Facebook, it could be on social media, in a film, you're going to be shown butterflies. So if you're seeing a blue butterfly today, you're being reminded about self-care, that this is something that we have to learn. We have to be kind to ourselves and loving and giving. Because this journey is a journey of self-love, being good to ourselves. And self-love isn't vanity. You know, looking in the mirror and going, oh, look at me. Self-love is giving back to you. Looking at yourself in the mirror with pride and joy. Thinking how proud you are of yourself to have overcome and dealt with what you've been through. Because you are a warrior, a warrior of love. So if you're seeing blue butterflies today, it's a sign of strength. I'm just seeing what colour these butterflies are. I've got two cards here that moved as well. We've also got this beautiful kind of, you know, like monarchy butterfly here. And this says volunteer. So the angels are reminding you that we have to volunteer to look after ourselves. We have to make a choice to do that because when we volunteer, we offer. You know, we offer to help. We offer to give. We offer to be there. You know, we offer to help a helping hand and sometimes we have to help ourselves. Maybe you're helping others right now. You're volunteering to do that. You know, you may be giving in your own life, giving of service or, you know, helping others with charity work or something you're volunteering to do. Volunteer to help today. If you see someone struggling, you know, even if that's just helping on the channel, you know, if you see someone struggling and you've been through what they've been through, volunteer to help, you know, offer a helping hand, be giving. So we have to make a choice to be giving in our lives. And that also makes us kind and loving because we're doing things that are selfless. Volunteering is very selfless. Self-care is also selfless because we're giving back to ourselves, changing your mind. And this is a beautiful butterfly. This is like a red butterfly. I'm sure there's someone watching who probably knows the names of all of these butterflies. And this may really resonate with you. But this butterfly is very unusual. And reminding you it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to do things differently. It's okay to stop doing what you've always done. To change your mind and do something else. So this is a reminder that sometimes we have to volunteer to make a choice, to make a decision, to change our mind, to do something a different way. And that's okay, because that's also a way we nurture and transform. And we nurture and transform by changing our minds. We think differently. We change our perception. We see things from a higher point of view. And we've got parental care. So maybe you're volunteering right now to look after your parents, to give them care. You know, before my mum passed away in March, you know, I was always kind of around there and making sure she was okay and she got everything. And I gave her parental care. So you could be looking after your parents. This could also be that you are becoming a parent or you are a parent or this is something you want. So you are now caring for yourself and being very loving and kind to yourself because that's also a sign for you. A sign for you to nurture you like a parent. Giving self-care is actually you parenting yourself or reparenting yourself, looking after you. I feel this is also a big sign about, you know, your parents, grandparents even, or, you know, maybe you are a grandparent. So this is about you volunteering to be there, you know, to listen. As a parent, we listen. That's why you know, we've been given that role. So we're there to guide and lead and nurture, but also to listen. There's nothing more beautiful than when, you know, your daughter or your son confides in you or you confide to your mother or your father, even if they are in heaven. So it's reminding you, even if your parents are gone, they are never gone. They are still by your side listening to you. And that's what matters. We've got this beautiful yellow butterfly for body changes. So as you transform on this journey, you also go through body changes. Now, this really resonates with me right now because I'm currently going through perimenopause at 45. And that's like the premenopause stage. So I'm going through body changes. You know, I'm feeling affected by things. And, you know, it's a new kind of learning curve. It's a new chapter. And as we evolve from the chrysalis into the butterfly, we go through body changes. 
And on this journey, as a twin flame, as a spiritual being, you know, as a light worker, you will experience various body changes. If you're channeling angels, guides, spirits, connecting with source, you're going to feel differently. You may feel what other people feel because you are an empath and you've been reminded to shield yourself. That was the powerful message that came up yesterday. This is also showing you that your body may be changing as you change your life, change your diet, change your lifestyle. Maybe you're exercising more. You know, you're feeling different about things. Your body seems to be changing. Maybe you're looking in the mirror and you're seeing your twin flame. It's like your face or your eyes are changing into theirs. So you're feeling very connected, very connected with source. So again, be gentle with yourself as you make any changes in your life that may affect your body. Anything you're going through as you grow older, as you appreciate yourself more and you look after you. We've also got hobbies. So we change as we grow because we change what we love to do. Things that we once did don't do it for us anymore. You know, that we don't have the same hobbies that we did. That's why sometimes we grow apart from people. You know, we don't have the same interests anymore. We have new interests and new hobbies and new passions to kind of, you know, look after and do. So we have many things to pursue and if you're moving away from people in your life, including a karmic partner or, you know, anyone that you've spent time with, friends, even some family members, you may not have the same interests anymore. So it's okay to change. It's okay to move away from what you did to focus on what you want to do. And we've got heavenly signs. And there's that beautiful blue butterfly again. So if you receive butterflies today, it's a sign from heaven. A sign that you are safe and loved. As you go through changes, you receive signs about those changes. Messages from heaven. They could be in number sequences. They could be in feathers, butterflies. You know, the things you see around you in nature. Rainbows, bees, the stag. Whatever you see is a sign from heaven that you are safe. So be the observer today and pay attention because the universe is going to bless you with the signs that guide you and show you the way as you make changes. We've got decisions. So decisions are always connected with change. We have to make a conscious choice to change and sometimes that includes a big decision. Especially if you're changing your life, you want to change your job, a hobby, you know, something you eat or drink, a dietary change. You may be changing who you're hanging around with, where you're spending time you know, your life, maybe moving home, you want to live somewhere else, there's big decisions happening right now. And we've got support. So as you make the decisions, you are given all the support you need from heaven, through heavenly signs, through opportunities coming to you, through people helping you, giving you a helping hand, volunteering to help you and be true to you. So do what feels good. As we transform on this journey, listen to your heart and follow your intuition and be true to you. So don't worry about what anyone else thinks or says or does or says that you should do. You do what feels right to you because that's being true to you. Especially if you've got adult children because as your children grow and as they evolve and live their own lives, you have your own life to live too. So some of you will move, be moving towards a new chapter where your children are grown up and you haven't got to worry about them so much anymore because we always worry about our children. But you haven't got that worry anymore. So you can focus on you and it may feel scary, like a big change, especially if you've given everything to them. You know, if your life has kind of been around bringing them up and making sure they're okay when they are adults, you know, you have to adult for yourself. So the angels are reminding you that you are your own adult child. So do what feels good. Imagine that you're being reborn right now. It's a fresh start for you. What do you want to do? Work on you. And sentimental feelings. So you may also be having sentimental feelings about a shift or a change as you transform, as you grow. So you may have more tears, more emotions, more highs and lows. You're not sure what you're feeling, so listen to your body and tap in with that and connect with it because it will always show you the truth. And we've got courage, so you're given courage on this journey. 
And courage is so much more than strength because courage is bravery. Courage is taking a risk. Courage is moving into the unknown. Courage is not being afraid because you know that you are supported. And that as you take flight, you'll fly. You know, a butterfly breaks free from the cocoon or the chrysalis and has to fly. And I'm sure there's that fear there. What if the wings don't work? What if I fall? What if I can't survive? But you will because you are supported and strong and you are a warrior. And we've got dietary change. There it is. So that's what I was feeling before. So we're being guided to change, to change our life, to change our diet, to change how we live our lives, to be true to ourselves, to focus on love, not fear, to remember that we are transforming and we are growing in this school of life. And it's okay to make a mistake because we understand as we grow, there are no mistakes. There's only lessons that lead to love. And those lessons are usually blessings in disguise. And we look back and we think, wow, now I understand why I had to go through that. Now I understand why it took that amount of time and why, you know, there was a delay. Because that delay made me stronger. That delay gave me courage. That delay helped me to be true to me. And it showed me the way. I allowed the universe to direct me and guide me and show me what's next for me. And I'm so grateful for that. And that's what the angels want you to know. So be kind today, be gentle, be compassionate to you and others. Remember, you are on a journey, you are learning and you are growing. And you know what? It will be fine. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.